Q93 Alexandria's number one hit music station. Joining us by phone is Lafayette native and lead singer for the band Lovers, River Gibson. River, good morning. It's good to have you back on the show. Good morning, Josh. Thank you for having me. How you been doing, man? You guys have been busy since the last time we talked. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been. Uh, we've really been uh, very busy. We've uh, been. In a, we just. Uh, we're in a movie called The Iron Claw, uh, which is that's that's pretty cool. Uh, the main actor is Zac Efron and uh, Jeremy Allen White. He just won a bunch of awards recently because uh, he's in that show, The Bear. Anyway, but we did that, and we're in a couple of scenes, and that that shows in theaters right now. And, uh, Anyway, in the movie, though, we play a song, and uh, we play a song live that was written for the film, for the soundtrack, and we actually just last week put out a cover of that track, uh, which is available everywhere. So we, that, that was kind of you know a new release for us, and uh, was a lot of fun to make. Uh, also, we just, uh, over the weekend, they announced Jazz Fest, so we're pumped about that. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, have you ever played Jazz Fest? This is the first time? This is the first time. It's a... Uh, you know, it's always been a dream. I've been playing music for a long time now. Uh, not necessarily with lovers. I've been with lovers about five years, but uh, you know, it's just uh, that's always just something on everybody's list. You know, that that it's just a, a high mark right there. So we're very, very excited to be a part of that. And that'll be in April. Going back to the Iron Claw film that's in theaters mm-hmm. now. So you guys not only got to sing in the in the film, do a song, but also you acted right. a little bit, right? We did. Yeah, we're so we're in a a, a few scenes. Um, we're one of the main characters. Uh, his, his, so it's about a family of brothers, and it's uh, one of the brothers. Uh, kind of, instead of going into wrestling, he really has a, a passion for music. So we play his bandmates in the film, and uh, you know we, we we play live a couple of times. So it's 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 pretty cool. And we're playing that song that I'm that I was talking about earlier. That's really cool. How did that come about? Somebody just reached out and like, hey, you want to be in this movie? <laughs> Something, dude. You know, it's kind of like. <laughs> Uh, serendipity a little bit. I was I was just kind of at a, I was working doing some work at late at a coffee shop one day and uh, you know some some folks came in and I heard them talking about how they were they were on set or whatever they were talking about you know how they were working on this film and so I went I went up to, and talked to them and I was like well look I'm in a band and uh, you know we we make a lot of music videos and stuff whatever so we have some experience behind the camera and you know if you ever needed something like that uh and here's my number <laughs> and uh sure enough i mean a, a couple of weeks maybe three weeks went by and i got a call and they're like well we're doing this movie and uh we need a, a whole band <laughs> you know so that's incredible uh, just, uh, yeah it was just you know right place at the right time and i was so, told your debut ep the lover's debut ep midnight fantasy is that going to mm-hmm. be released in february it is yes or um it'll be right around uh, so the band started on valentine's day in 2018 and uh, we're going to put it out that week, the week of Valentine's Valentine's Day, and uh, we're, we're going to drop a music video on Valentine's Day, and then on that Friday, the 16th, they're going to drop the EP. And that's our first, that's our debut EP. So that's awesome. What can very, we expect on the EP? Um, we'll have a couple of, you know, the, the familiar favorites, uh, and there's there's uh, one unreleased track on there that's where is like one of our absolute favorites. We've been playing it live for a long time, and it's really like after the show, that's like the song that people are like, Hey, where can we get this song? You know, this what is this song? It's so it's so good. So anyway, we're we're very very happy to finally put that out. But it's also like we you know we've been playing for a long time and we put out a lot of singles uh, over the years, like maybe like eighteen or so. And we've always never put out like a collective work. So this is our first heat that we can you know, you know at the show you know people can buy and it's like well this is this is it you know like it's their souvenir for the band you know what I mean? So, That's really cool. Um, yeah. I listened back to our previous interview we did. I guess it was about a year ago, maybe a little less than that. Uh, you guys were perform- yeah, that's, that's, you guys were performing at uh, the brewery here in Alexandria uh, that week. Right, yeah, that's, that was about a year ago. That was actually uh, Lillian who plays in the band. That was her first. Or plays bass in the band. That was her first gig with. So uh, yeah, I remember that that gig well. <laughs> you guys were so good. That was a fun I didn't know what to expect. It was very fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was different too. Is it? You know, it's a different setup than we usually play. You know the nightclub and the you know the the you know what I'm saying the the theater type look and this was you know this outdoor venue and it was like a wooden stage and it was it was really it was different but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> well, when I listened back to the interview, you had we had played a uh, hypnotic love. And believe yeah, it or not, I, I love that song. I woke up this morning singing it in my head. I was like, good God, that song is so <laughs> catchy. I'm, I listened to it one time and I'm oh, singing it. <laughs> so uh, we've been oh, talking man, with uh, awesome. and we've been talking with River Gibson of Lovers, their debut EP, Midnight Fantasy, coming out 
on February 14th. Again, they're going to be at Jazz Fest in New Orleans in April if you want to go see them live. And you can also see them in the new film, Iron Claw. And River, before you go, would you introduce the song from that film? We're going to play it for our listeners this morning. Yes, that's uh, so Live That Way Forever. That's our newest single. We just put it out on Spotify. and that's, So it's a cover of um, a song that the band Arcade Fire wrote for the soundtrack of the Iron Claw film. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Congrats on all the success. It's exciting to see. Thank you very much, Josh. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you having me and, and getting to speak with you again. Hopefully we'll be in Alexandria uh, for a show again soon. Yeah, yeah, that'd be super fun. <laughs> well, it was great talking to you. You too, man. Take care. Got a fever these days Rimmed up like a riot at the end of the game Come on and open the gates I'm hanging on to this feeling till they drag me away Wanna live that way forever? 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 Fell asleep at the wheel. Drove myself off the road. I wanna live that way